Hello and welcome. If it is your first time here, hello again. If you are returning, welcome back. Last episode, the kids got into it at the water park and got kicked out, all of them. Robbie and Tori broke up, continuing our summer of heartbreaks. And Daniel and Terry got into it. In my opinion, Daniel was being really dumb, which made Amanda threaten to leave and take the kids with her. I don't know if she actually is going to leave, but we'll see. And hopefully Daniel stop being dumb and make better decisions this episode. Why are you here? I am so ashamed of you. An exemplar of everything Cobra Kai stands for. You should be ashamed of yourself, sir. Inner strength. How can you stand being in here with them? This is so sad. What a sad day. He stood tall, demanded justice. You should have, Stingray. You should have actually told the truth and left Cobra Kai. And he could attack you again, literally at any time. Nobody ever rented me an apartment before. That's the least I could do in light of your sacrifice. What a shame. And I tend to do more than the least. My ex sensei uh, used to uh, have one just like it. Uh, this was sensei. Lord. What? You can't take that. That is so messed up. What a dick thing to do. Silver is a real douchebag, isn't he? Shame. Check the trunk. Since the whole Mexico thing felt like at least a small step in the right direction, I figured it might help if we went on another little trip. The taste buds are about to go on a tour of the old country. Is it? <laughs> it's Olive Garden. <laughs> Is it really a tour of the old country? <laughs> Tell you what, I'm gonna get you guys a basket of breadsticks fresh out of the oven. I'll come right back, done and done. Breadsticks aren't gonna fix this. Uh, spoken like a man who's never had the garden's breadsticks. The breadsticks are delicious though. No one can doubt that. But I doubt that it will solve the problem here. One bite and you'll forget why you were ever mad at each other in the first place. No, I'm never going to forget that. Neither am I. I'm glad that you are actually trying, Johnny. You're putting a lot of effort in and I appreciate that. And hopefully they come to their senses soon. Did she actually leave? daniel son. Okay. Damn, Amanda. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to leave for real. And take both of them for real. His most important thing, strong bonds, which is together. All it took was Terry Silver to break them. He is pissing me off. Terry didn't do anything to your family. He didn't make Amanda leave. This is your fault. And you could have kept Amanda in the loop, but you didn't. How does everyone not see through it? How can you not see what he's doing? Where did this come from? With me, <gasps> no envelope. We must speak with this man. And then what? We get another furniture store burned down. <sighs> Daniel makes me want to punch him in the throat. Jesus Christ. Could be answer to expose Silver and get family back. Who sent that paper though? Was it Stingray that did it? Or was it a uh, freaking crease? Did somebody else see the fight? Hey! Where do I know you from? Is it from the movies? I'll try to have him back before curfew. You literally just said he wasn't here. Yeah, I lied again. Not my fault you fell for If he point. tricked you before, he will surely try to trick you again. <laughs> that second time is on you. He is right. Found a bunch of strategies for building trust and teamwork through cooperative exercises. First of all, I didn't even know Johnny knows how to Google, okay? <laughs> Let alone that he knows any of those words. I guess the baby is doing something to him, okay? The least lame one is called an escape room. I'm not doing it. Yeah, that goes double for me. It's locked from the inside. Sir, I hope you don't do anything ridiculous and almost get these kids killed. This is the only key. What? Glue the window shut to what? You're getting out of here unless you work together. Okay, I appreciate your efforts. <laughs> I want you to try, but that is not it. I hope you have your car phone on you to call for help when y'all get trapped in here. Lincoln County Regulators Josea Chavez de Chavez and Josiah Doc Skurlock have been arrested to be hanged. Why are you suddenly pushing this so hard? We're all sort of on our way to becoming a family. A family? You two have your thing, whatever, but you keep forcing this. All you're going to do is get his ass kicked. Well, ready when you are, runner-up. You're being a little too touchy. You need to calm down. And you can try to start a fight with Robbie every time you see him. I am Billy the Kid. And I have a for you. <laughs> oh, 
old snap crackle pops. That's Johnny's old car. Sir, y'all need to investigate, not go after him. I'm sure there are cameras in there, and he's gonna find out. We saw you drive up in a pretty unique set of wheels. Where did you get them? My car guy found that. You got a trust fund, Raymond? I'm just seeing how you're throwing all this money around. New apartment. New I would car. actually assume that um, Terry would be more careful and make sure that Stingray doesn't use his money any kind of way so that they're covered and they don't get caught. I think you lied about Chris. And Silver paid you to do it so he could have Probokai to himself. You got a really leap to... And lie with someone. Leave this in my mailbox. You don't have a lie ready? If you're going to put someone in jail for a crime they did not commit, you need to make sure you have lies ready to cover your tracks. Sensei Silver is an honorable man. Is he though? Is that why he had you lied and then had his friend put in jail? Is that what honorable people do, Stingray? Silver came after my family. And you must have done something to deserve you gotta give me a goddamn straight what are you doing Enough. what is wrong with you what you are you doing Nicole. he's obviously full of shit i he know daniel is under pressure and he's worried about terry but he has learned nothing at all what if stingray presses charges on you and you're put into jail what then oh check it out vintage your mom used to play it for hours until she got into underage drinking. <laughs> she even had top score at one point. How hard can it be? Extremely hard, sir. <laughs> those old games are no jokes. And just because you're good with new games doesn't mean you can beat those. What's the real reason Daniel didn't make it? Karate <laughs> Wars. Andrews! I see you, girl. Who is that? Oh, God. Amanda Steiner. Hey, Leslie Ann. She was the one that beat up that car with the Man, baseball bat. Man, why are bat? you even here? And why do you feel the need to bring that up? No one was talking about the past. Nobody. What was that nickname that we gave you after? I hate people God, so, so much. I'm gonna catch up. It was a good talk. Have fun. We will. Nobody asked you to come over here with your gang of douchebags. Never mind the middle-aged mean girls with faded lower back tattoos. Ah. <laughs> I like your cousin. She's funny. I bet those tattoos are ugly too. He's you know, the one that you went to. Silver paid off Stingray to lie about Kreese's attack. You get him to flip. We might be able to take Silver down for good. I washed my hands of the Cobra Kai thing when we lost the tournament. If you hadn't brought it back, none of this would be happening. Yes and no. Okay. Why are you blaming everyone but yourself? What happened to the strike first badass? Do I need to kick his ass to wake him up, or was it just one wow. time that lost all it to took calm to down, turn bro. you into a pussy? Daniel needs to use some of the teachings that he teaches his kids. Okay. Raving like a lunatic, you He's right. bruise. Now you're gonna fight me? I don't want to get pulled oh my back God, into this yes. silver. How is Johnny the sensible one here? <laughs> I am proud of you, Johnny. Give him some advice because he's being ridiculous and stupid and blaming everybody else for his problems. If you think I'm off the rails, way off. Look at you, your shirt's not even tucked in. Amanda let you leave the house like that? She's at her mother's in Ohio. She took the kids with her. Is this you? I was right there. Why didn't you come get me? Getting my sister to be my bully is not the best solution okay you better tell her the entire story you better not skip the part where you were bullying kenny again i want to feel bad for you but you kind of made this bad sir i kind of deserved it yes You're bully? you should ask him what he did every time i think it's over another enemy emerges from daniel's past terry silver he was hosting a charity function sorry is back you oh she's silver. um um what's her face going through some things and silver was the cause. She was making the clay, right? The store. By the time you were moving to LA and I put you in touch with Daniel, he was way past all of that. I will say that he actually never moved past it. He just moved forward and just kept going. First, he pretended to be his friend, then his mentor, while his goons wrecked his bonsai shop beat him up oh my so god your face is still the same i just didn't remember i really should watch the third movie again i have a terrible memory i forgot that fast <laughs> they terrorized daniel at every opportunity but he got past it back then so he didn't really get past it then did he there's a giant difference between working through something and actually getting over it and just you know sidestepping it and going on like nothing happened i'm sure you and amanda have your hiccups but i'm also sure you always get over them no reason to think you're not going to get through this one as long as you keep your head out of your ass. That's 
Valid point. Very good, actually. <laughs> He's getting better and better at this, surprisingly. Robbie moved in for a bit. Now him and Miguel are at each other's throats again. So much for Goggle's advice on conflict Google. resolution. Google. <laughs> yeah, you know I should know you will do or say something ridiculous, but I am caught off guard each and every time. A pretty good feeling you're going to work it out too. Whether it be with the computer savvy new Johnny approach. I would never call Johnny computer savvy. He is not that. Something a little more Johnny classic. I didn't think you were a fan of his. I'm starting to grow on <laughs> Miguel and Robbie should be here to see this. If Johnny and Daniel could be friends or <laughs> get along, at least, I'm sure they can too, okay? If they stop being stupid. Oh my God. Babe, this ruthless. woman. Thanks for the trip down memory lane. Does Miss Coastal Elite not like to be reminded of where she came from? Ma'am, I am here trying to have fun with my cousin. Do you have nothing better to do? Go hang out with your friends. You need to back off. Elizabeth, or what? Keep it up and you'll find out. Stay in your lane. There's a bar. I really want her to get punched in the throat. And the teeth. <gasps> <gasps> Midwest brawl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yo, kiddos, you gotta help your mom out. Yes. <laughs> Never speak to my mother like that again. I will beat the crap out of you. <laughs> You're almost packed. Chosen is leaving? You must not give up. It's not worth losing my family over. Why don't you just put him in an apartment if you can afford it? I don't know. And y'all can like investigate the situation. This is so dumb for him to come all the way here and then leave. You have gone above and beyond. Any failures were mine alone. That is true. And I am glad that you have finally realized that. I'm only sorry I wasted your time. Defending honor of Miyagi Do. Never a waste of time. Oh, I like Chosen. I don't want him to go. I make amends with Raymond for how I acted today, so I'm gonna go take care of that while you finish packing. Maybe you shouldn't go by yourself, sir. I feel like Silver is gonna pop up and shenanigans will go down. You wanna hang on to your grudge? Fine. But at least be men about it and put your fists where your mouths are. Fight it out. What? You just keep fighting until you get it all out of your systems. This might be a terrible decision, but it might work. Goggle didn't work. <laughs> Johnny's way might. <laughs> Is that all you got? Oh, snap. <gasps> oh god, he dropped blood. It's on and popping now. Ooh, <gasps> please don't hit your head. You're freaking me out. I don't want you to hit your head. Ooh, jeez. Ooh, okay. <gasps> oh no. Oh, okay. Johnny, did you think about this? What if somebody hit their head? I don't want them to get hurt. Oh no. What do you mean fight's over? All right, guys, that's enough. You said no holds barred. They're not going to stop. You obviously did not think this through. Please don't fall. Oh no. Okay. I am so proud of you, Miguel, and your ability to grow and let things go. Why'd you hold back? I didn't get into karate to hurt people. Oh, I love yeah. him so I much. Vision and I got so angry that I just, I mean, I barely knew where we were. I'd take it back in a second if I could. He would. He did not mean to hurt you. I mean, I was the cause of the worst moment in your life. And if it's any consolation, it was the worst moment in my life, too. And I'll take it. You two are so great. This could be a great friendship. Thank God. You still hated each other when the baby gets here. <gasps> like you and Why would you just say it like that? Were, uh, having a baby. Are you angry? Happy? Sad? <laughs> Are we good or not? Nah? That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. This is really good. <laughs> I didn't know how y'all were going to take it. We're on our way to being a real family. Johnny's way for the win. You're like John Carter is she going to teach him? I can teach you if you want. I thought you were done with karate. Yeah, me too. But the reality is there will always be assholes and bullies in the world. I know chores aren't really your thing, but we could fast forward past them. I would like to see him actually go through the process. He seems like he skips a lot of things, and I don't think this is a process that he should skip. 
We just got into a bar fight <laughs> over nothing. <laughs> Daniel, on the other hand, has every reason to hate Terry Silver. Yes, but also he knows how Terry messes with people. So he should act accordingly. You're saying I should cut him some slack? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Those breads. You weren't thinking about these breadsticks, Todd. I wouldn't lie to you. Hi. Well, okay. I hope it's cool I'm having dinner here. You're welcome anytime you like. Oh, I really want Miguel and Robbie to be friends. I think it could be a great friendship. And they can learn from each other, too. Then why are you here by yourself, sir? And why would you go inside a door that is open? I would never. God dang it. Jesus Christ. You you oh, my God. I'm out of the war. I surrender, if that's what you want to hear. The valley is yours. I've got much bigger plans. Well, leave me out of them. Oh, no. See, he shows his true nature when he's alone with people. It's remarkable how easy it was to disrupt your marriage. <laughs> Imagine how easy it's going to be to wrap Cobra Kai geese around both your kids. Do not do anything stupid. There's probably cameras in here. He's going to record it. And you might get arrested. God dang it. That's the Cobra Kai student I remember. Oh, Jesus. Sidestep him and get the heck up out of here. Oh, no. Daniel. I was ready to let this go. And you just kept getting in my way. You wanted to do this. You want to destroy them. You could have stopped after you burned down Mike's place and let it go. Okay? Way past the time, white flag. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Look at what he's doing to you. Daniel just needs to run. Like, there's no point in staying here. This is why I did not want you to come here by yourself. It's blood. So what? Leg sweep him and run for your life. I'm sorry. This could only get worse. Oh. Oh, no. God dang it. Oh my god. I want you alive and well for what's about to happen. What's about to happen? You have won. Everyone is down. What else can you do? The real pain is about to begin. This is a complete and total disaster. Silver is he has gone beyond the pale. I'm becoming someone no! I don't want to be. Is she talking to Crease? I'm lying to someone I fear. Please tell me she is. And I'm delivering anonymous notes that could put people in danger. Tell me there's an end game to this. Silver's going down. Only he doesn't know it yet. Holy crap. Okay, so that was episode five. This episode was a lot, but that ending was ridiculous. I I don't know what I thought was gonna happen, but I did not see that coming. This soon, especially. First, I am glad that uh, we saw Jessica's actor again. It was nice to see her, even though I kind of forgot her. <laughs> I'm glad that she was in this episode. Second, I love that Miguel and Robbie are good now, that they know about the kid and they're happy about it and they're excited for Johnny and Carmen. It's just unfortunate that everything else is going to be exploding around them. When it comes to Stingray, I get why that he does not want to come forward. Terry is a very intimidating person. And like I said before, he has the money to back it up. And you can literally see Stingray flinch when Terry touched him. But it feels like he's mostly there because he wants to belong. Like Cobra Kai are the cool kids and he wants to be a part of that. If he leaves Cobra Kai completely and just stays away from them, that is so understandable. Like, 
you don't want anything to do with Terry or Cobra Kai, but you also don't want to come forward. But you coming there, taking the car, it just makes me feel like fear is not the thing that is pushing you. And maybe Terry is harassing him and whatever else. But I feel like you could go to Johnny and explain what happened and they could possibly help you. So I just feel like he's doing this for himself. When it comes to Tori and Kreese, I think she went to see Kreese after she confronted Terry about the cheating. And I think that's why she's sticking around. But the issue is, does Terry know what's happening? I would assume that Terry will pay the guards to keep tabs on Kreese and the people that visit him. So if he knows that Tori is visiting him and that, you know, they're plotting, what is he going to do? What else is he setting up for them? And Terry can be really unhinged and a maniac. So I don't put it past him that he knows what's happening and he's just waiting and plotting on them. I have to say that it is scary when Terry fights someone. He does not care what happens to that person. He could beat them to death and not blink an eye. It's like he's not even there. His motive is to destroy them and that's it. I don't know if it's the money or that he can get away with things, but it is disturbing how he acts. I'm looking forward to the next episode. I'm assuming our peeps are gonna come together, unite and try to bring down Terry, but how? They have everything going against them right now. And most importantly, they need Stingray. He's the only one that can literally change this. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I hope you have a good one and you'll see me later. Bye.